Time now for the Friend Zone, where we invite one of our friends from within the building here at Fox onto the show. And tonight, we're joined by arguably the smartest person in Washington, D.C., Fox News Chief Washington Correspondent James Rosen. Great to see you, James. So here's my first question about the Friend Zone. Is the friend zone also a no-spin zone, or is spin permitted in the friend zone? Yeah, there's some overlap between the zones, but mostly okay. it's just a friendly experience. I'm right. not going to barbecue we'll, we'll, you. We'll see. We'll ask see. this question. So right. we have a new president. He's been yes. here three days. Do you know the guy? I've only met Donald Trump once. It was in the hallways of the Quicken Loans Arena right before that famous debate with Megyn Kelly in August of 2015. Yeah. And I just introduced him. He goes, I know exactly who you are. I see you on Fox all the time. You do a great job. I know exactly who you are. You do a great job. <laughs> well, I, I conveyed a little bit of family lore that our families knew each other a little bit, and he confirmed this, much to my dad's delight. One of my dad's pieces of family lore was finally confirmed. They knew Trump in what context? Uh, my father's father had a uh, pump. A, it was a, as a plumbing firm in New York City in the 40s and 50s and did business with Fred Trump, Mr. Trump's father. And so I said we were regaled as children hearing about, oh, we used to see Donald playing on the floor with his Tonka toy trucks all the time. And he said to me, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the president. So you met this one once. How much yeah. contact did you have with the previous president? Next to none, honestly. Now, I was not our White House correspondent, per se. Right. I was chief uh, Washington correspondent. I had really only, per se, one conversation with Barack Obama. when he was a senator in 2005. We ran into each other at the L.A. Sports Club gym, which is at the Ritz-Carlton in downtown Washington, where, parenthetically, audience, I also met and proposed to my wife. In the gym? Uh, no. That's another thing. At the Ritz Carlton. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, uh, and so there was Senator Obama getting ready to work out. He was tri trim and fit, and he looked like he belonged to the gym. I looked more or less like me. And I introduced myself, and I had just finished covering 45 straight days of the John Bolton confirmation Ooh, hearings for yeah. the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. And I told Senator Obama, I have to be, outside of John Bolton, the happiest guy in America that those things finally came to an end because I'd done nothing else for 45 days. And Senator Obama said something, oh, I asked Dick Lugar, who was the, uh, the Republican chairman yeah. of that committee at the time, and he couldn't figure out why the Bush administration never put up a guy like John Bolton for a job like that, a critic of the U.N. We both go, we work out separately, we both go, we shower separately, we dress separately, we come back, uh, we're both leaving. And I introduced myself to him again, I said, Senator, I just want to say it was nice to meet you, and that I fully expect, going forward, on the basis of this briefest of encounters, uh, that you will see fit to leak to me the most sensitive documents that cross your desk. <laughs> this is how it works. Okay. And uh, you'll, I hope you'll pardon the ribald language. Uh, but he said to me, man, he laughed. He said, man, I'm 99 out of 100. I ain't got to <laughs> leak. That's literally what, and when he got elected, I thought to myself, well, you do now. Uh, the only other interaction. Did he ever? <laughs> the, the record is fairly clear. He that never he leaked did to not. He did no, not. he didn't. Yes, the record is quite uh, clear. He, at his year-end news conference, December 16, I so happen to be filling the seat for Fox News. I wrote to Jen Psaki and Josh Ernest in advance and told them I'll be there and said, I think it would be very much in the spirit of Lincoln and Christmas if this president were to call on this reporter for a question. He didn't, but he interjected at one point and he answered me. So I entered the annals of Q&A of President Obama's presidency. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it really works That's here in Washington. So there's a hashtag right in there Right from the somewhere. Chief Washington Correspondent. James Rosen, I hope you will come back. James Rosen has talents you don't even know about, but we're going to expose <laughs> them on this show. Great to see you. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, man.